Well, I did it again. I was yapping away on the video and I realized the mic wasn't plugged in. Jeez. So I'm going to try to talk a little louder um, because I know some of you guys are saying you have a hard time hearing me. I'm pretty mellow voiced, you know, so I'm still trying to get out of my nervousness of making these videos. Um, you know, getting more comfortable, but uh, yeah, man, you know, it's just, it's, I'm not a really uh, open person. I mean, if you guys knew me, if you guys knew me at work, you would know what I'm talking about. I'm not, yeah, I'm like a different individual when I'm at work. I think we all are, right? I think it's safe to say that everybody's a different person at work. Um, I'll tell you what, what, guys, what I do for a living. I am a district manager for, you know, I work for Dollar Tree and I am a district manager. Uh, being in my position, I have to conduct myself in a professional manner. You know, I need people to respect me. I need people to listen to what I say. And, you know, I act a completely different way at work. You know, I'm not as open as I am with you guys. You know, that's what, one of the things I love about making these videos is I'm able to share my love for G.I. Joe with people that, you know, I know I don't know you personally, but I just feel a little more, I, I feel better, you know, and it's a lot different when you're at work. You know, I, I have to be a certain way uh, because I am, you know, I need people to listen to what I have to say and I need them to do what I ask. So I'm a whole different person if you were to see me at work. So, yeah. But anyways, that's what I do. I work for Dollar Tree. I am a district manager. I've been doing this job for um, five years now. Well, actually six years. Oh my goodness. This is going to be my sixth year. Come no, come October will be my sixth year as a district manager. I've been working for them for 11 years, actually. Uh, on the 29th of this month will be my 11th year with this company. So, yeah, I was a store manager before that for five years, and uh, I've had a blast, man. I've loved working for these guys so far, so, you know, so far, so good. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Yeah, um, so I want to answer a question that somebody asked. Um, they asked me about where, where did I get this plane, okay? So this plane, I got it on eBay. Um, I put in a bid, and I won. And when I got it, it was brand new, and it came with this one, okay? Both of them brand new in the box. Never have... I put the stickers on them myself, which was really cool, and I did a video about it, but they actually came in this box, okay? So, there's, there's your answer. I got it on eBay, and it came... It was brand new in the box. Um, I put the stickers on it, on both of the vehicles, and... That, I just wanted to answer a question that somebody had about that. I had another person that asked me, um, where do I get my Joes and how long have I been collecting them? I will share a story with you guys. Uh, when I get a little bit more comfortable, I'll share why I love G.I. Joe so much. There's actually a really big meaning to why I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan. It is a really, you know, it's a big connection to for me with uh, my grandfather, and uh, I will share that story with you guys someday when I get more comfortable. And uh, but I'll I'll love to share it with you guys so you guys can fully understand why I love GI Joe so much. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, it's something that him and I shared. Um, you know, uh, my grandfather would buy me a GI Joe every week. He would take me to Toys R Us and get me one GI Joe. Uh, that's just something that him and I had, um, so it's it, that's why G.I. Joe, it's not the whole story, but it's pretty much, you guys get the gist of why I love G.I. Joe so much. He was the greatest man I ever knew in my life, and uh, he was the most important person in my life. So, yeah, it means, it holds a special place to me uh, personally, and that is why I love G.I. Joe so much. But again, I'll share more of that story with you guys one of these days uh, when I get more comfortable and I'm able to be able to share that entire story with you guys. And that's that's to come. So anyways, so let's get out of the sappiness and let's talk about what I got today. So today I got four, three boxes. I'm supposed to be getting a couple more packages via uh, the post office. They haven't delivered anything yet. This was brought by FedEx. So... Um, I think I know 
pretty much what they are. I know the, the last one on the bottom, the big, big one, it is uh, another headquarters. I already have two of them, but again, I saw a good deal on Mercari, and I went ahead and bought it. Before I go ahead, I want to tell you guys who I buy some of this stuff from. I get it on Mercari, and I also get it on eBay. Now, one of the per people that I've been uh, doing deals with is this guy goes by the name of Dark Side Toys. So if you guys are looking to buy any G.I. Joes, um, this is the person I've been dealing with. Now, one thing I will tell you is his stuff is pricey. If you're looking to buy stuff, Joes, with the boxes and the instructions and all that, it's going to cost you more. We all know that. Okay. Me, I am not that kind of collector. I don't collect to collect boxes and and, you know, I don't need to have the instructions. I don't need to have the boxes. Only reason I have this box and I have some boxes is because the price was amazing. So I took advantage of the price, okay? If the price is right, I'll pay for it for the box and everything. But a lot of times, if you guys look, it is really expensive to buy these in the box with the instructions and all that. It's, it's, it, you're, you're going to start spending like five, six hundred bucks, you know, even a thousand dollars. So I don't do that, man. I don't go nowhere near that. If it's in the hundreds and like bottom hundreds, like 150, 120, I'm there. I'm that guy. Um, that's why I try to buy stuff on the cheap, like under a hundred bucks. If I buy a base, it's going to be cheaper because I don't want to spend a whole lot of money, you know, on something that all I need is the display part of it, right? I don't want to display the boxes. I don't care. I want to display the toys. And, you know, that's what I do. Okay, I go after the toys. So, yeah. So let's get started with this box right here. I believe that this one is going to be uh, a Cobra vehicle. Um, I think it should be. So let's see. Here. Yeah, it is. And he, he boxed it really well too, man. Um, this was this was not from the dark sided toys person. This is from another individual. So I already have one of these, but again, the price was right, and uh, I just wanted to get another one. Um, and they had everything. It's really dirty. You guys know how I feel about stuff that's dirty. Um, I want to clean it myself because that's the fun part for me um, as a collector. I love cleaning these things and making them look a lot better than they do. But uh, check it out. I already, this is going to be my fourth one So of these. Uh, so yeah, so everything looks in here. I think it's just missing a couple of missiles. That's it. And then it's missing the front, uh, like a cage roll thing that goes here. But that's it. Other than that, man, I mean, it looks really cool. And it's just something that I want to do use as a for a play set that I'm going to be doing a little story that I'm going to be doing. Um, but anyway, so that's the first item. So the second box, I have to be careful here because I knocked over my some stuff the other day. My wife was giving me grief the other day because she's like, "You're already running out of room." And it's like, I know, I am. I filled this room up like really quick. Okay. Yeah. So this is, and I will tell you guys exactly what it's called because I want you guys to know. You know, I know some of you guys send me messages telling me that it's actually not called this. It's called this. Um, so let me see if I can. I'm gonna get you guys the correct name of this one. So this one is going to be the 2012 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Shockwave His Tank with Destro and Construction Bat. Okay, so um, this was another item that was being auctioned off. There you go, that's the word I was looking for. So I put in a bid and um, you know, nobody else bid on it, man. So I got it. And uh, I won the bid, and uh, I'm really, really excited about this because I don't have this piece in my collection. And again, I've told you guys that because I have pretty much everything, um, now I'm going to start looking for uh, convention-exclusive items because 
I have all the vehicles already. So those are the things that I'm going to be going after. That's going to take me a little longer because, as you guys know, when you go into the convention exclusives, it can it's going to be pricey. So it's going to take me a while, but I am going to do it. Uh, but I'm not going to be going as fast as I'm doing right now because, again, i got to watch the prices. If the price is right, I'm going to jump on it. If it's not, I'm going to wait. There's always an opportunity, okay? Um, these actually go for like three, four hundred dollars. So if when you see it for 120 bucks, oh yeah, jump on it. You know, again, you gotta you gotta wait for the right deal. So here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay. So the box stood up pretty good. Put it looks like you put it all in one. Try to put it all in the bag. Uh, but it's all in here. Let me take it out. Let me show you guys. And what I'll do is, after I put it together, I'm, I'll show it to you guys. Right now, I just want to show you the pieces. And it is dusty. We just had it sitting. So, here's the top piece. Okay. Here is the top piece. Set it right here. Right here. Oh. Here we go. Alright. So here is the bottom piece. Okay. I don't want to mess it up. So here's the bottom piece of it. And here is another piece that came off. And in this baggie are more the other pieces. Uh, it looks like I have uh, the Cobra Bat. And this is Destro. Okay, so here are the cards, and again, I don't, I don't care about the cards. Um, so the vehicle itself, it's called Shockwave. It's Shockwave, and the android is called the Cobra Android Trooper. And then this one is Weapon Supplier Destro. And then here are the vehicles, and it's got a couple more pieces in here. So. So that is what is in this box. Okay. Okay. So that is okay. Let me move this stuff because I don't want it to get knocked over and I don't want to make a mess or accidentally break anything. I'll put this over here for now. I'm running out of room. So, I know what's in this last box. It is another base. Um, so, the guy actually just sent me a message. Um, when, they, when the delivery comes, the seller gets a message that the package was delivered. So, he sent me a message. Uh, telling me that he came and that he threw in an extra vehicle in here. Uh, extra so, so, yeah, so let's see. Um, it is, it's not, he said he threw in another vehicle, so I'm going to assume that this one's it. Okay. Another one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's another one. Awesome. All right. So, also, what he did is he, uh, this came with a dragonfly. Because it didn't fit in this box, he put it, he sent it in a, in a shipped it in another box. So I have that still on the way. So this whole set came from the same guy. Like I said, Dark Sided Toys on Rikari. And again, the price was really good, and um, you know, I, it, it, it's a complete set. Um, it's got everything complete, and you know, when I saw it, I was like, man, I, I gotta get it. Uh, it's got all the pieces. It looks like everything is in here, man. Everything. So here's the little seat. Here's the top piece. 
there's the front part of the the cage. Here's the little satellite. Here's the gun that goes on the top. There's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's complete, man. It's got everything in here. Everything. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, check it out. And when I saw it, the only reason I wanted it, too, was because it had this, and look at that. It's complete, man. It is complete. It is really dirty. I love it when it's dirty, because I love to clean it. There's more pieces to the, and the other thing too was, man, these pieces look really nice, man. They're like, it's, it's, it's hard to find a base with the, with the, uh, the holding cell, uh, complete with no problems, man. It's like really, really nicely maintained. So trust me, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get this too, because I saw the condition of it. And I was like, oh man, yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta talk to this guy. So here is the rest, the other pieces, the side pieces, and it's man, you guys, it looks really, really, really nice. And here are more pieces. And here is the flag. Okay. And here are. The two seats, two more seats. And here we got another piece to the side. There's a missile and uh, another pole here. And we have the piece that goes there. Boom! Shaka laka. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah, it's really good. That's it. That's all. That's everything that's in this box. But uh, again, you know. The guy's site, it's called Dark Sided Toys. Check him out if you guys are looking for some stuff. I made a really good deal with him, and you'll see what I paid when, if you look at it. Um, again, the guy, you know, threw in some extra vehicles in there for me. Um, you know, again, you know, just check it out. But, yeah, I'm going to make another video to show you guys when I put all this stuff together um, so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, other than that, I think I still have a couple more packages that are supposed to arrive today, but they're coming through the post office. So once they come in, I'll do another video. And again, I'll, I'll make that video part of me putting together the set so you guys can check it out and see what it looks like. But uh, other than that, man, I hope you guys really liked the video. And I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to you guys that keep sending me messages. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the support. You guys, you know, uh, just having a chat with me. If I haven't answered some of the questions that you guys have asked, I will get to it and I will definitely do my best to answer the questions for you. But other than that, hey, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I know mine's off to a pretty good start already. Um, so thank you. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.